Okay, I'm standing by the vacuum tube display here at the Bug Books Historical Microcomputer Museum. This is a reminder of how marvelous the invention of the transistor was, dated 1947. This is the replica of the first transistor made by Bell Labs. Dating back in 1947, moving from vacuum tube to solid state technology, the first transistor, it was quickly manufactured in quantities and placed on printed circuit boards to increase the capacity of circuits. With the miniaturization of transistors clustering on printed circuit boards, the idea came to be reducing the package size. Here I'm holding a device in which integrated circuits and related components, diodes, capacitors, resistors, were put in a plastic molded module with pins protruding on the bottom for connecting, which was the introduction of what we now call the integrated circuit. With the greatest need of reduction in size, the integrated circuit using discrete components improved manufacturing processes into which the circuit could actually be etched on a wafer of silicon and put into its own package that what we call today the integrated circuit. To increase again the intensity and the density of integrated circuits, the concept was to take one chip and mount it multiple times on a different chip. Chip on chips plug-in board. As density is increased on microchips, on microboards, plug-in, density is improved again until which the chips could be manufactured within one chip that we now call the microprocessor.